Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and today is a sad Thursday. Uh, if you have been paying attention to the news online, you may have seen this blog post, a collaboration or a new collaboration with Adobe from our beloved Figma. Figma being the best in class design tool that's cloud based and amazing at every step of the turn has now been consumed by Adobe in a blog post that features, uh, you know, a step uh, you know, you know, in, information about the future, but then a disclaimer in legalese that's longer than the blog post after it. Um, I'm not a huge fan of this acquisition. Longtime listeners of this channel will know that I released a video in 2017, how to mostly ditch Adobe Creative Cloud because Adobe's history, long history of dark bad anti-consumer practices, dark patterns, and so much more. Adobe also has a long history of taking products and absolutely destroying them. And honestly, comparisons to this Microsoft acquiring GitHub, I think fall flat because Microsoft had at least some goodwill in the developer space in 2020, as opposed to Adobe being despised in many ways. So Adobe uh, taking over Figma, pretty much spells the death of Figma to me personally. While I'm not going to just say that Figma is in fact dead or anything, I am going to be looking for alternatives because I have a kind of moral issue with giving Adobe any of my money. So I've been looking for alternatives and that's where this tweet from Austin Gill comes in. Go give Austin a follow at Hey Austin Gill. He's always tweeting good stuff. Austin uh, tweeted uh, this Penpot app coming in above the Figma acquisition in perfect form on Hacker News here, he shows that there's an open source alternative to Figma called Penpot, which I had never heard of before his tweet, even though it is a number one on Hacker News right now. So this video is a quick little intro and preview into Penpot, which is now probably going to be my design tool, if we're being honest. It's not that nothing like Figma is going to suck overnight, so to say. But like I said, I don't, I'm not in, in the business of giving Adobe any money. So let's talk about Penpot. What is Penpot? Uh, let's check out the interface. Let's do a little introduction to this thing. It's an open source design system and prototyping platform meant for teams, not dependent on operating systems. So very Figma like as in it's browser based, it's web tech based. Um, it's based on open web standards, SVG and empowered by the community. Now you'll notice that it, looks from this pretty well formed. I was really impressed when I first saw this. I was like, all right, we're going to have to wait a little while for this thing to mature. And we still probably will. But at the same time, I was impressed right away. So let's take a look at what this thing is. You get access to design components, interactive prototypes, collaborative tools that allow you to leave comments and stuff. Uh, it says design multiplayer. So they have multiplayer mode like Figma. Um, Priceless conversation, so you can leave comments just like Figma. Libraries and templates just like Figma. And that all sounds wonderful to me. And it's open source. I mean, does it get any better than that? Um, so let's let's take a let's take a look at it. Um, I would recommend, you know, signing up for an account today. Give them some support. So I I right off the bat, you can kind of see that Penpot taking a lot of inspiration from Figma. Gotta love it. Uh, you have things like your fonts, your drafts, your shared libraries your pen pot, your creative teams. If you create a new draft, it's a new file, just like within Figma. Drafts and projects are all the same vocabulary. If we open a file, you'll be able to see right away that the interface here is kind of nice. You know, it's a different, it's a different vibe than Figma where you have, uh, by default, you have the, not the grid, but the rulers up top here. You have a little bit more, you have a little bit more over here, your layers and assets, everything feels just a little bit different. Uh, but in the same regard, it feels just similar enough. Now, there's also some cool things in here and no shade at Figma, but they already have things like individual rounded corners for each side of the thing and a dark mode in terms of the overall interface, which is something that took Figma years <laughs> and like years upon years to get. So um, that's pretty neat. Now, I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I am any kind of pen pot master, considering I just heard about it about 15 minutes ago. But I am going to take some time to dive in and try to learn this tool. I think it's really an interesting 
uh, opportunity for someone to come in and basically do exactly what Figment did. And you don't really even have to do that much. You just have to have a, and, and by say that much, I mean, you only have to create a world-class leading design application that, you know, has a billion features and is excellent for teams and all these things. Um, and I, I say that tongue in cheek, right? Because it is a big effort to try to now dethrone Figma. And unfortunately, it's not one that I was really expecting uh, to have to worry about. But here we are, and I'm going to make a concerted effort to make PenPot my design tool for a bit. I'm going to stay in PenPot and really get my hands dirty, uh, be a part of the community and try to get updates on this thing just to see exactly if this thing really is a competitor. But I, you got to love the fact that it's open source. You got to love the fact that it's so fully featured already. And that honestly is really pretty nice. Now, it's not glitch free or bug free or whatever, but maybe uh, maybe just maybe uh, we have an Adobe free future alternative in front of us after all and one that's open source nonetheless. Either way, like I said, go give PenPot a try. We'll make sure the link's in the description, PenPot. And I have no affiliation. I've long been um, a, a very happy Figma user. So, um, you know, I've never had a reason to look elsewhere, and now I do. So I am going to be diving deep into PenPot. And if you want to see a tutorial course on how to use this application, uh, well, maybe that will be in the future from us as well. As always, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.